I'm Matt Bichard with NareachReit.com here at the Wynn Las Vegas for REIT World 2015, NareAid's annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Deb Kafaro, Chairman and CEO of Ventas. Deb, thanks so much for joining us again. It's great to be here. Thank you. Now, earlier this year, the Global Real Estate Sustainability Benchmark recognized Ventas as a global leader in sustainability for the healthcare sector. What do you consider to be Ventas's most effective sustainability initiative? Well, we were really excited to earn that recognition because we've been working really hard with a great team of people to improve our sustainability profile. And so there are a couple things we've done. Certainly, we believe in corporate philanthropy through our foundation. We believe in corporate governance, and we're a leader in corporate governance as well, which counts in the Gresby score. And then, of course, the most notable are our environmental measures. So we have worked really hard on sustainability initiatives in our properties, and these include some lighting retrofits in our medical office building portfolio. We have about 200 assets slated for LED and other types of efficient lighting, and those projects are well underway and have been really great for the properties and also, of course, great for the planet as well. We have others underway, and of course, as we invest in assets or do redevelopments, we're focused on lead certification for the projects to make sure they're projects that are environmentally sound. And in the past, we've talked a lot about the, the aging demographic in America and, and what that does to the healthcare yes. sector. How is the current supply looking for senior housing facilities? Mm -hmm. Well, let's start with demand because demand is one of the greatest things you can have in a real estate business and certainly we in senior housing and healthcare have the demand. So when you look at the population, there are 20 million people over 75. That's expected to grow by over 70% to 35%. Five million in the coming years. So we believe there's tremendous demand for senior living and of course baby boomers we have as well, 10,000 of whom are turning 65 every day. So we have tremendous demographic tailwinds. That 75 and over is growing at seven times the rate of the population in the U.S. So tremendous demand for the properties. As a result of that we have seen increased development in senior housing in particular and that development really is in balance in many markets but there are pockets of overdevelopment that uh, we see in certain mar markets and we expect that supply over time to be absorbed by this coming wave of demand. And another thing that, that we've talked about as well it seems like everyone is interest rates. Yes. Now how do you as, as the head of Ventas you know mm -hmm. prepare for what may, may not happen yes. with interest rates. Yes. Well, we, this has been a subject, as you say, for such a long time. And of course, we've gotten ahead of the curve on balance sheet as uh, we have gotten ahead of the curve on many other subjects. And really, it's been taking advantage of the lowest rates in our lifetimes to extend uh, maturities, to stagger maturities, to lock in low rates. So we've done a great, a great job, really, for many years in getting that liability side of the, the balance sheet where it needs to be. Uh, and so we're really happy about that. And we've also changed our business on the asset side so that a number of our assets, particularly senior housing in the management structure, can grow with uh, a growing economy. So we have more leverage to the upside, which balances things out as well. And of course, on even our triple net leases, many of them have CPI type escalations. So that enables the asset side of the balance sheet to somewhat keep pace in a more growing, higher interest rate economy. So we've worked on both sides and we continue to do so. Great, Deb, thank you so much. Thank you, good to be here. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.